19 foot Springdale Fireside here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a one owner sold originally right here from Halet's. They upgraded to a, a 25 foot bunkhouse slide out open range ultralight. So, the, you know, they got their first camper here, had a good experience. This And this is a camper. This is not an RV. This is as close to basic as basic can get. And I think that's what I liked about it so much. 3,860 pounds, so they're easy to tow. No slides on a tandem axle means the tongue weight's really easy to manage. They're not going to bury the uh, back of a vehicle. SUV comfortably towable. Um, they'll, you'll always want proper load leveling hitch on this thing. Um, it's, it's just simple. It's, and this thing is just sparkling clean and fantastic shape. Your decals are not sun faded. The skin still gleams. It's not chalky. This has not been baked by the sun. Um, the uh, little outside utility shower here, again, one of those just bare bones minimalist things that is a really nice thing to have. And you're going to get some of that stuff like this is actually satellite prepped, interestingly, though it is a bare bones trailer. But... Um, this is, again, uh, based off the Springdale build design down at King, uh, uh, Keystone. And Springdale's the number one most successful thing uh, they have down there. And this actually paved the way for today's Summerland Minis, which are the little single axle campers. Most of these floor plans were later just uh, absorbed into the actual Summerland series. So it's all the same shell and structure as the Springdale or Summerland. Um, it's just peeling out all of the extra widgets and whiz bangs down to a, a, a more bare bones basic camper here. I love the earth tone, I love the, the decor, kind of reminds me of an old Fleetwood Mallard. That's what it is. This thing is, I could never figure it out until just now. It's funny, that hit me. Um, this thing has always reminded me of something and I couldn't figure out what. It reminds me of a classic Fleetwood Mallard. Uh, just, you know, really well built, nothing wrong with it, but not flashy, fancy, or expensive. Uh, nice little stereo system with outside speakers. Our windows are UV tinted. That is a bonus. This looks like a power awning. It is not. It is a manual. Keep that in mind. I've seen a lot of people look at the arms. Go, oh, that's one of those power awnings on the little camper. No, no, it's not. Don't go. Don't get it mixed up. And I tell you what. Here, let me let me kind of work from front to back so I don't miss anything. So this is a, a just a, a simple front sort of living design, you know, front family common space here. We do have a full size AC, which is nice. A lot of you know real basic campers will have a smaller AC. This is a full eight foot wide profile. A lot of smaller campers are going to these seven and a half narrow bodies. There's advantages both ways. This gives you more space and storage. Um, and this little thing has tons of storage everywhere. You know, people always say, well, you know, none of these campers have the storage of my old one. This one does. This little 19-footer has a ton of storage. Sofa can jackknife down into a bed. We've just got a nice open pocket here for anything you want, really. Um, your windows come with these little snap-on uh, blackout shades like you'd get in a toy hauler, and they work extremely well. Um, the kitchen is basic. Again, where we sold a ton of these were the uh, the hunting shack campers, the guys who were looking for something around 10 grand, um, but you know they didn't want something with leaks and water damage. Well, they could get a new trailer for that price tag, basically. So you've just got nothing but wide open storage. Now, they do have a little hole drilled up here so that if you did want to put a microwave in one of these cabinets, you could do that, and you could fish the uh, power line over to a power source. Um, down below, you're going to hear me wear the word storage out, but that's because this camper just has a ton of it for such a small little box. You know, again, I mean, I can't say enough, nothing in this is fancy, but man, oh man, they were bulletproof. We just never had fireside problems. That is a gas electric refrigerator there, kind of like you'd see in a truck camper, basically. Propane furnace down there. We saw the AC right here in the kitchen. We've got this like floor to ceiling, big pantry space right here that you could easily use for hanging storage as well. And... As we go over to the bathroom, we have even more big storage cabinet space here. Now, I didn't grab my battery box because it's charging, and I've actually got three of them all charging at the same time right now, but I think you can still see enough to get the idea. Those are your blackout window shades right there. Um, bathroom, simple but effective. That's the whole camper, though it does have a nice foot flush toilet, which is a welcome uh, uh, thing there. And the shower wall surround paneling so that your shower water doesn't accidentally water damage your walls. You know, good. 300 pound rated upper bunk. You don't need to rate the lower bunk because it has so much construction under it that it's not going to fail. So here's where we could put a little TV station, though no one ever did put a TV over here. And even below that, we have even more storage. And you see the hanging rod already installed in there. Um, more overhead storage, storage below the dinette. The dinette can fold down into a bed. So whether you're uh, a single person, whether you're buddy camping or family camping, this little thing's awesome. 
and it is clean as a whistle. It is in just great shape. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Trades, hitching, pieces, parts, financing, delivery, trucks, package deals, everything available at one place for your convenience. Take care, guys. Have some fun.